Wouldn't it be nice if you could calculate shipping weights on invoices in QuickBooks Online? You can do it with a product called FullSpeed, a program for applying spreadsheet calculations in cloud-based apps and in some native Windows apps as well. Here's a QuickBooks Online invoice with a few items entered. Before we got to this point, we had to do a bit of setup to associate a shipping weight with each item. Let's go look at an item to see how that was done. Here's one of the items in the Products and Services list. I've added information in square brackets at the end of the description. This says WT equals 2.2 or this item's shipping weight is 2.2 pounds. Full speed lets you associate any kind of information or data with an item in this way and we've added a weight to all of the items in the list. The other thing we will need is an item name to tell full speed where to put the total shipping weight on the invoice. So we added an item called ship weight. Notice that the description is total shipping weight. We will have full speed add the calculated weight to the end of that description when the item is used on an invoice. The price is zero and the account isn't important because this item won't be used for recording income or expense. Let's go back and have a look at the completed invoice. Notice that each of the items has weight information in the end of its description. Now let's add our ship weight item to have a place for the total weight. Full speed is already running. Let's switch to it and see about setting up the calculations. The first time you see the full speed main window, it may look a bit busy. That's because it's a spreadsheet with functions and capabilities similar to Microsoft Excel. But shipping calculations are fairly simple. You won't need most of the options that are available here. The first thing we recommend anyone do is to label the columns with names that match the invoice columns. We have a products and services column, description, quantity, and other columns. But we'll only be working with the description and quantity columns, so we can stop there. Also understand that labeling columns this way is optional, but it's a good idea because it helps us keep track of where our formulas need to go. The formulas row is the place to enter formulas we want applied to each line of the invoice. In this case, we need a formula for the extended weight on each line, that is the item's shipping weight times the quantity. But the invoice has no blank columns available to hold the result of that formula, so we'll put it over in full speed's scratch pad column. We need a formula that extracts weight information from the description and multiplies it by the quantity. The getVal function in this formula says to extract the data item named weight or WT from D5. So that means we'll be extracting weights from the description. It also says to multiply that number by E5, the quantity column, to calculate an extended weight for that line. The formula cell shows a value error because there's no data for it to use. So let's enter some sample data. We could do the same thing on each line of the sandbox, which is a place to enter sample data to see if your formulas work as expected. Now we need a formula to calculate a total shipping weight by totaling the extended weights from each line. Recall that we have an item on the invoice named ship weight. Its purpose is to trigger that calculation. So we need to enter ship weight on one of the text triggered formula rows. Full speed will only watch one column of the invoice for matching text. So I click again in the products and services column and click the blue M button. M stands for match column. That tells full speed to watch the column for our ship weight item name. Now let's enter the formula. This formula says to sum column H, row 0, through column H, row 0. H is that first scratch pad column, but there is no row 0. This is a shorthand way of telling full speed to sum all of the lines on the invoice. Normally formula results replace field contents, but in this case we want full speed to add the calculated shipping weight to the end of the description on the ship weight line. So I'll right click on the cell, select Format Cell, and append results to field contents, then OK. We have a couple more chores to do before we're done with setup. One is to enter a description so that we can recall the macro's purpose. 
We also have to indicate the application this macro works with, QuickBooks Online in this case. The next item is the repeat type. The one that's selected simply tells full speed to apply the macro to the entire invoice. The orange button over to the right identifies the hotkey assigned to this macro. Control 0 is the current hotkey, but you can assign any hotkey you want. The last thing we need to do is select a begin field. The begin field tells full speed where you'll be in the invoice when you run the macro, so it synchronizes the macro to the invoice's columns. Let's select the quantity column as the begin field. I've clicked there. Now I click the green B button and that marks it as the begin field. Finally, let's save the file to preserve the changes we've made. Once you've saved a macro like this, the work's all done. You can use it over and over again without making any changes. Let's go back to the invoice and try the macro. Remember, we marked the quantity column as the begin field, so I need to click in that field on the first row, then press the macro's hotkey, control zero, and let it run. As you can see, full speed calculated the total shipping weight for the invoice and added it to the description on the ship weight line. How would you use this macro day to day? Well, you would start full speed and have it running whenever you're using QuickBooks Online. You would enter invoice items as you normally do. Selecting items automatically pulls in their shipping weight as part of the description. You'd enter the ship weight item on the last line of the invoice if you're entering an invoice that will be shipped. Last, you'd click in the Begin field, which is the Quantity column in this case, then press the Macros hotkey. When the macro is done, all that's left to do is to save or print or email the invoice. The calculated shipping weight is permanent data that remains a part of the invoice. To find out more about Full Speed, search for other Full Speed videos on YouTube or visit our website, goflagship.com. Thank you.